Hey, it is playoff time. Rebels. Time to pack the bag and hit the roads because it's March. That's what you do in March. That's right. Every time, isn't it? Okay, the Runner Rebels will leave tomorrow for the PCAA tournament. The winner of this tourney gets an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. But the Rebels, of course, they're going to go regardless. But a win in L.A. would definitely help their seeding in the NCAAs. I remember last year at the PCAA tournament, center David Willard came on strong. He played some great games down there. And then it carried over into the NCAA tournament. But this year, Willard's not even sure if he'll get a chance to do it again. I feel I'm ready to play. You know, um, it's really disappointing to be sitting on the bench. And I think if anybody doesn't have that attitude, whoever's sitting on the bench shouldn't even be in college ball. But uh, I feel better than I'm not playing. But uh, I think now that I'm ready to play and, you know, I'm, I can contribute. All right, we will see. And here is the new top 10 poll. We're going to show you. Temple remains number one, as expected. Purdue, Arizona, Oklahoma, and Pittsburgh are the five. UNLV comes in at number eight, their seventh in the AP Writers' Poll. Already a number of teams have clinched NCAA tournament spots. Last night, Loyola Marymount got in. The Lions, coached by former Lakers boss Paul Westhead, averaged more than 110 points a game. It could break the Rebels scoring record set in 76-77. In the Broncos of Santa Clara score here, but watch what Loyola does on the fast break. They just come right back. That's the way the game went last night, back and forth. Loyola wins the WCAC championship and is headed to the NCAA tournament 104 to 96 the final. Now watch this team this year. They could surprise some people. Already have, I guess, in a lot of ways, surprise people. And some sad news tonight. Former Louisiana State basketball star Don Redden died earlier today of an apparent heart attack. Redden was the top player on LSU's team that made it to the Final Four back in 86. And that was his senior season under Coach Dale Brown. Redden was the, uh, the school's 14th all-time leading scorer. And he's the second LSU basketball player to die this year. Of course, Pete Maravich being the other. The Rebel baseball team has a chance this week to make some national headlines. They're playing top-ranked Oklahoma State in a three-game series at Barnes & Field. Game one this afternoon is still in progress right now, and what a game it is. They are in the bottom of the eighth inning. Oklahoma State leads, but the Rebels have the bases loaded with nobody out. So let's see if they can upset uh, number one Oklahoma State out there this week. Fred Dallimore's club also plays tomorrow and Thursday. Both games beginning at 2.30. And for the first time, a baseball player is the winner of the Sullivan Award. It goes to the top amateur athlete in the nation. Jim Abbott, a pitcher for the University of Minnesota, who was born without a right arm, is the winner this year. But I'll tell you, he can fire the ball with his left arm, no problem at all. I'd like to thank everybody who was involved in the voting. Uh, they picked probably the worst athlete up here. Yeah. <laughs> Baseball pitchers usually don't get their respect. <laughs> one more story here about the Winter Olympics, and I promise this will be it. No more, of course, unless something important happens. Today, President Reagan greeted about 100 members of the U.S. Olympic team at the White House, and uh, speed skater Bonnie Blair presented him with a Team USA jacket and some nice sweatpants to go along. Perfect for riding the range in Southern California, won't they be? The president says he's tired of hearing about the lack of medals in the Olympics. He said I mean, they are all champions right. just for competing. That's very true. So, yes. so it goes. Okay, right. thanks, Ron.